It is great to see you. And it is great to see you getting your vaccination shot. How did it feel to get that vaccination? Well, it was actually very, very painless. And it was uh, administered by Dr. Joaquin Arambula, who was also in the state legislature of California. And of course, we're very grateful to God, Governor Gavin Newsom, uh, who set aside uh, these vaccines uh, for the farm workers. And uh, this is really important because so many of them have uh, gotten sick from, from uh, COVID-19. We have, as you know, uh, an inappropriate number or an inordinate number of people that have died uh, in the Latino community. So hopefully uh, with the vaccines that some people can, more people can be saved. And we also just want to add that many of the farm workers, as you know, are undocumented. And uh, the fact that uh, they passed uh, the stimulus package to be able to help people. And uh, in that package, many of the undocumented workers, farm workers who are putting the food on everybody's table every single day will also be protected. And so the farm workers are very grateful and we're doing everything that we can to let people know that the vaccines are going to be available and we want everybody to get vaccinated. Si se puede, Lawrence, we can make sure that we're all safe. Uh, the, the California numbers right now, they estimate, uh, they estimate that 46,000 agricultural workers uh, have been infected with COVID-19. And that's an estimate. It could be significantly higher than that. Yes, because oftentimes when workers would complain, uh, that they weren't uh, vaccinated, that they weren't given the uh, the protective equipment, that they were working too close to each other. And in some instances, a farm workers actually had to go on strike uh, to be able to get the protective equipment that they needed. And oftentimes when they when they protested, they were actually told not to come back to work. Uh, so uh, it became very, very difficult for the workers. And then, of course, for their families. So we are very grateful that the vaccines are finally uh, being made available by uh, Governor Gavin Newsom and the farm workers will finally get some protection. And we have to mention the, the packing house workers too, because for them it was very, very difficult uh, to have any kind of distancing uh, when they did their work. You know what, we showed some video at the beginning of this of a, a farm worker uh, talking about getting the vaccine and she could not even turn away from her work to talk because the work is so constant, so nonstop. And that's true whenever you see video of the farm workers, uh, they, they will talk on video, but they will never take the time to turn away from the work because they're not allowed to in the pace of the work in the course of the day. Yes, farm workers have to be very physically strong to do the work that they do. Uh, oftentimes people think that it's very easy work, and so we just have to remind everybody, and a lot of those, uh, I want to say the Republicans that voted uh, against the relief bill, that these are the people that are putting the food on your table. And so we always want to be grateful uh, to the farm workers. Think about them uh, when you're eat when you're sitting down eating your meals, and, and and send them a little prayer of thank you for all the work that they do to keep everybody fed and to keep us with uh, the nutrition that we need. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank all of you out there. Thank you as always. Thanks to at home. Thanks for watching. Thank you so much for letting us into your homes during these extraordinary times.